Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you again for visiting another video on RC in Motion. Um, first of all, I want to thank all you guys that are subscribing. Hey, that's that's awesome. I don't look for any fame. I'm just here to help. Here to show you guys some tutorials, some builds, some how-tos, some simple budget um, builds. Just something for you guys to be entertained. No fame, no money. This is all coming out of my pocket pretty much. But um, I, I really appreciate the subscribers. Uh, like I said, the guys on Twitter as well. Um, subscribing, suggesting my videos, uh, other videos. Even out in Germany. Who would have thought out in Germany somebody suggesting my... Uh, my actually my sway bar video on this uh, on this kit here um the e revo but um today we're going to actually talk about the e revo uh, i know you guys have seen this e revo run in a couple of videos couple races in the truggy class i converted it to a truggy class you guys seen me dye the um the chassis black you guys seen me do some upgrades sway bar kit front and rear uh shock covers you name it has all the works in it but today, um, <laughs> the e Revo is down, actually. It's broken. There's another weak point I want to show you guys. When, uh, when you have an e Revo this big with so much power to the wheels, this is one of the upgrades I want to show you guys you guys should do. Okay, so the first one, I don't think I did a video on them, but the, uh, the rear A-arms, I had to upgrade them. And when I landed, the first thing to go were the A-arms. So the rear A-arms, I replaced them both with uh, RPM, both sides. Perfect upgrade. Front ones, not so much. I mean, it's not hitting that much in the front, so I didn't think it was necessary. But when I break them, then I'll upgrade them. Um, but let me show you guys here real quick what I'm talking about. Okay, if we can turn this here. Let's see if you guys can see it. Okay. Um, you guys might not be able to see it because everything is black. Everything is blacked out. But let me bring you over here to the second shot. And you guys can see for yourself that the, um, this is, uh, your rear, uh, chassis mount or chassis plate or bottom plate or skid plate, either one you want to call it. Um, it's actually broken <laughs> i held it i put it up with a uh, with an led mount i had it was metal just to hold those pins so i would not lose these pins for the a arms so pretty much this skid plate is it's always it's, it's gonna break this plastic is is so like thin let me show you guys here uh i can bring it up here on this shot so you guys could see here it is dull dull plastic it is not good um and that's what i actually uh that's what i actually broke on the revo i finally broke it i guess if you want to call it that you guys see the um rpm uh rear arms so today it's a kind of an upgrade for uh the revo actually let me bring you guys up here okay and we're gonna go ahead and replace that. So uh, let me show you guys this unboxing real quick. So, like I said, I have a uh, box here. And today you guys are going to witness this unboxing from the warehouse location at Intigy. Intigy. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and uh, unbox it here for you. Oh, look at that. Look at the viewfinder. Unbox this at the same time. Uh, or foam. But, let's see what else. There you go. At the time of this video, this is $20, $19.99 US dollars. Part number T3109S, Intigy.com. Alloy rear skid plate for it. Revo, but the website also said e Revo, so I'm pretty sure everything bolts in like a Revo. We're gonna go ahead and remove that, remove this uh, rear skid plate, and install this bad boy here. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and take you guys on the other um, camera and we can film it from there and then we can switch over and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's go ahead and uh, start this build. Most of this um, would be fast forwarded. So I think I'm gonna fast forward it now. So as you guys can see here on the uh, X cam right here, this is um, what broke. This look at how terrible that break is. Um, it just snapped, and I tried to glue it back with some um, some like epoxy glue, but it wouldn't hold. So we might have to clean this up a little bit and minimal dirt there and let's go ahead and start installing uh, the other one on there now this doesn't have any instructions okay so it's kind of like a uh, like if you have one on there you should know how it goes pretty much but for those that who don't know of course this is gonna be like your mini bumper let me show you there the rear bumper so um we're going to go ahead and put that towards the rear and then the way you put it in is you want to put in your pins first okay and then you just let it sit there on the other pins but I have to clean those pin that pin out in order for this to sit flush so I'm just going to grab my knife here you always want to cut away from you <laughs> that was kind of my mistake right there sorry guys um, cut away from you every time you uh, you're going to make a cut and look at that that sits perfectly flush right there. Let's go ahead and put in those uh, four screws. Okay, and they should fit in perfect. I mean, they are the stock screws, so you shouldn't have an issue uh, reinstalling the screws. Remember, like I said in my previous vi videos, if it's plastic, do not over tighten the plastic. Just um, tighten it. To where you feel the plastic give and that that's good enough that is good enough okay so right there and if you're doing it with a drill I know most drills electric drills nowadays they have like a uh, like a torque feature where it'll stop once it feels resistant so if you have one of those hey at your own risk feel free to um to use those Okay, so this one should be the last one here. Now that looks beefy. That rear end, if it breaks, I don't know what else to install <laughs> on here. All right, so there you have it, guys. That was kind of a quick build there. Um, let me show you guys again here up close on this uh, camera here. I, I actually put in this uh, this screw here just to hold this plastic part. And then um, this is an LED mount that I have had. It's pretty much you mount your LEDs there. But I bent it and I uh, kind of just held it on there on the stock, um, stock holes. I drilled two holes, put in long screws, didn't over tighten it just so it can stay there. But I mean this is this this metal is just flimsy so i just held it there did not uh mess with the e revo at all didn't, didn't try to run it and um i said well we need to upgrade it we might as well upgrade it to into g as well so like i said as of this video the uh part number is t3109s1999 that's uh if you ask me that's that's a hell of a price for an upgrade um, let's go ahead and check it out right now. I'll just bring it closer to you guys Okay, that's what it looks like. I mean it looks beefy and it's thicker than the um, than the stock one You guys could see this thickness here Look at that compared to that thickness. It's pretty thick. So We'll see how that goes. Let me show you guys there We'll see how that uh 
how that turns out to uh to be pretty much to hold on there let's see uh how much punishment I can give this truck um, and then I should be giving you guys a review of how it went hope you guys like this video hey like always rate comment subscribe share this video thanks again for watching my videos guys till the next one